Hey guys, I want to talk about hair loss. Are you experiencing hair loss or hair breakage or change in hair texture? Dermatologists are the experts at hair and they're really great at a lot of treatments, but what I found is they don't get to the root cause. So today I want to talk about all the different hormone issues that could contribute to hair loss. I have a ton of hair, but have had a lot of hair. Have you guys noticed how I always have all this hair sticking up? And maybe you haven't seen like, I can't get it, like breakage and a lot less hair right here in these pieces that are breaking off. One of the most important things for hair is estrogen. And women who have a baby, after they have a baby, have a sharp decrease in estrogen when the baby's delivered. And that's when we see a lot of hair loss. Now, remember that hair grows in three month cycles. So what's happening now more reflects your hormone balance from three months ago. The second thing that we see hair cause from is high testosterone. This is what dermatologists sometimes do actually check for and they usually prescribe spironolactone, which blocks at the hair follicle your conversion of testosterone to dihydrotestosterone. We generally see that kind of hair loss like I have here, where you're losing it mostly at the temples and sometime in a male pattern hair loss. That would be called androgenic alopecia. The second type of hair loss or hormone would be cortisol. When you have a lot of stress, cortisol goes up and people might notice patches on different parts of their hair, a whole patch, that would be because of cortisol. The third thing that I've seen is low DHEA, which is something that turns into testosterone, and that can also be because of stress. You get high cortisol, low DHEA. But in addition, changes in estrogen can also, like I mentioned, cause it. And first, you might see that texture is terrible. So I had no period for five months, which is not unusual for my age. And then all of a sudden, I had two periods back to back, and my hair grew like crazy. You can look back at my previous videos, but now I don't think I'm going to get a period and the texture is just dry and I'm seeing tiny little pieces of hair all over. Now I have all this new hair growth, like I said, with all the breakage. So it's really important for you to get through the cause of your hair loss and treat the cause because taking something like a testosterone blocker or using Rogaine might help, but if you don't treat the cause, it's going to keep happening.